I call the honourable member for <laughs> Lily. Sorry. Condolences to the uh, to the Whitlam family, uh, but also uh, to talk a little bit about an extraordinary contribution to our public life. A lot of has been said today. This is one of the finest discussions that I have sat through uh, in this parliament. And I don't intend to go through the full list of policies and debates and events uh, that are very pertinent to Gough's life. But I do want to focus on a couple of themes. The first one is Gough's commitment to equality of opportunity, his absolute determination to ensure there was no discrimination on the grounds of race or gender or postcode. And that determination runs through all uh, of his policies, particularly the policies put forward in health and education. And almost every one of us in this room today lives with the benefit of that determination. I agree with the member for Wentworth. Today is a day for sadness, but it's also a day to celebrate, to celebrate an inspiring life of a person who showed us that political life can make a difference and that being a politician is an honourable profession. That is what is so good about today's debate. We can all talk about what drew us into politics, but for me, 1972 and 1974 were very important. The fourth of four boys in a family. Three of those boys, my older brothers, were not drafted. I was coming up in 1972. In our household, there was a breath of relief when the government changed. This was a very dramatic event and debate, and our involvement in Vietnam is something that has reverberated through our country for years. But it was a very big change. And of course, in Australian politics, there is now a dividing line. You can carbon date the dividing line at 1972, pre Whitlam and post Whitlam. The big debates that took place in the double disillusioned elections of 1974 and 1975 are still with us today. In 1974, I joined the party that year in May because of the forthcoming double disillusion over Medicare, over our education proposals and other social security matters. I still have at home, my wife still has at home, that T-shirt, that Gough Whitlam T-shirt that she and all of my children have proudly worn in election campaigns right through good seasons and bad seasons. Once again, an example of the dividing line, a dividing line that still exists today. We are still debating these principles of affordable health and education, how they shall be funded, how do we deliver quality. I'm not necessarily saying we always have the right answers on this side of the House, but I think we have been on the right side of history. And there's a theory about Australian politics. It's called initiative and resistance. And I think we've seen acknowledged today by some opposite that there was a lot of resistance going on then. And of course that's why we had a double disillusion in 74 and again in 75. And we lost. We lost for a variety of complex reasons. And the governments were not perfect, and neither was Gough. But the ideas were right. The ideas were timeless, because they are based on that fundamental principle of equality of opportunity, and that people having the capacity to get ahead, irrespective of their postcode or race or gender. And of course, this was always reflected in Gough's approach to foreign affairs. The drama, the daring, the political courage of the ALP executive just down the road in 1971, receiving an invite from the Communist Party of China to send a delegation to China at a time where Reds were under the bed everywhere. This was a very daring decision. and Indeed, the day they took it, they moved from ALP headquarters to the Statesman Hotel at Curtin. The Labor greats that were there with Gough, people like Mick Young, Tom Burns and many others. And of course, as they juggled this decision about whether they go or not, they had quite a few beers over at the Statesman. 
and it went on late into the night. But the decision was to take was to do it and to go with Gough. And anyone who has been to China at any time knows how powerful that image of us going to China before the Americans getting there was so important for the future of our country. That larger vision that a number of people have spoken about today from both sides of the House, the optimism that it reflects. If we learn one thing from the passing of Gough Whitlam, it is that political leadership needs to inspire, that political leadership needs to be larger than just party politics, and that if we're not living up to those objectives to try harder and be more thoughtful. That is the inspiration of Gough, Gough Whitlam. And with his passing, many of us will still hear in our mind that distinctive voice urging us to go on and do better because our country deserves it. Yeah.